Hey, first grade, we're back and it's time to do our activity. I hope you enjoyed reading that book, Watermelon Madness, and learning about Nora and her family. And I thought it was just kind of just such a magical tale that she actually could go inside the watermelon. And I think she learned in the end, hmm, maybe it's not all about watermelon all the time. But do you think Nora was gonna have watermelon again? Probably. It sounds like she wanted to balance it out a little bit more. I like that story, I hope you did too. It reminds me of when I was a kid, my mom told me that for a whole week, the only thing I would eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner was tomatoes. Do you have a funny story like that about when you were a baby? For today's activity, I want you to think about the foods that you love to eat. This is the way we're gonna share more about who we are and what we like. So, if you look inside your unit work folder, you should see what I'm calling the picture, a picture paper. It should look something like this. Your name at the top, a box for drawing, and some lines for writing. So for the activity today, you're gonna fill this box with your favorite food. Maybe you have one, but if you have more, I would love to uh, hear about it. Um, the other thing I want you to do is draw you in the picture eating these foods. So for me, I might draw myself. I'm going to try. Let's see. Of course, this is not going to be as fancy as you're going to do it, but I might draw myself. So you're going to use real um, markers, crayons, and colored pencils. So draw yourself. And remember, just like everything in unit work, you're going to have at least five colors in your finished work. And then you might want to just draw a table <laughs> or a refrigerator or a shelf. And you can go ahead and put your favorite uh, foods on here. So you, one of my favorite foods is avocado. Another food that I love a lot um, are salads. So I might draw a bowl of salad. And I also love tacos. Okay, so of course you're gonna do um, a lot more detail. And then at the bottom, let's see if I can scroll down a little bit here. Just back to mouse, okay. So then down here, oops, you're gonna write, I like to eat. And I probably remember these lines. I know you've been practicing your handwriting in your smaller, uh, in your groups with Nicole, Jamie, and Shireen. I like to eat. And then you could do your sound spelling. You can do sound spelling for this too, or your best guess spelling. I like to eat, and I would write avocado and salad and tacos. So you can use the word and to help you make a list for your writing. I like to eat avocados and, A-N-D. So I'm gonna leave out the, the foods here just because for time's sake. Avocados and salad and tacos. And super extra bonus, if you remember, what comes at the end of a sentence, good old period. Okay, so you're gonna have your beautiful drawing. You're gonna have at least five colors, as much detail as you can. Tell me, please, I think you probably have more than one food that you like. So I'd love to hear as many as, you, as, you, uh, as you're able to fit. And then your sentence will be, I like to eat blank. You'll fill in the blank and blank, fill in the blank and blank. All right, okay. So I hope you have fun with that. And again, you're gonna post that to Seesaw. You'll post a picture of it and put it in the unit work Seesaw area and then I'll get to see it. And then we'll be hopefully be able to share it with other kids in the class. All right, have fun getting your activity done and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, first graders. Goodbye, firsties. Goodbye, firsties. Goodbye, firsties. I'll see you next time. Hey!